Hey, what's going on, Z Nation? Zaid here, ZSPN. And today, guys, we're going to be talking about the Los Angeles Lakers and the NBA trade deadline. Uh, as we all know this by now, the Lakers did not make any trades in the trade deadline. It is now over. The trades are done. And basically, the Lakers and most teams in the NBA are looking at the buyout market, at who is going to get bought out and potentially be uh, signing with potential teams and uh, uh, as we all know uh, you know the Lakers have been in trade rumors as of late for the past couple of days uh, you know with the uh, the whole situation with Kyle Lowry with the Tur with the Toronto Raptors and um, you know and there are some names that have been thrown in when it came down to it from uh, Dennis Schroeder from uh, Montres Herald uh, KCP even THT at one point but you know the Lakers when it came to that particular rumor and those particular talks yeah it did not happen and uh, and personally when it comes down to it uh, I think this is this was uh, potentially predicted if you will I mean we all knew that the Lakers were not going to trade anybody once the NBA trade deadline approached and they rightfully didn't do it and rightfully so I mean I believe that you know so far there was just not a lot of assets that the Lakers have for them to make a trade in this uh, free uh, this uh, trade deadline so uh, I think this is just a smart move by the Los Angeles Lakers for not making any moves on the trade deadline but you know the number one priority was the buyout market and the whole the the names that have been attracting the Los Angeles Lakers as of late and obviously we already know who we're talking about and that was Andre Drummond who has just got bought out by the Cleveland Cavaliers. It was predicted, it was across uh, all social media about the idea of, of Andre Drummond, uh, you know, getting bought out by the Cleveland Cavaliers. And uh, uh, he, they basically did, and now he is potentially going to be a free agent, and he needs to wait uh, the waiver uh, um, period uh, when it's all said and done. Uh, until he makes his decision. Now, all signs are showing that he's going to pick the Los Angeles Lakers, but uh, you know it hasn't it hasn't been confirmed yet. So we just have to wait until a couple of days until what Andre Drummond decides when it comes to his next destination. And then uh, Lamarcus Aldridge, uh, he just finalized his uh, buyout with the San Antonio Spurs, and all signs are showing that. Um, the front runners are uh, the Boston Celtics, the Miami Heat, and also our Los Angeles Lakers. So he's picking between those three, those three teams because you know uh, he wants to contend and potentially wants to win a championship. So uh, you know, with all the stats being said, I mean, it still remains to be seen where his destination will be in the next couple of days. So, but so far what I've been reading, the front runners are the Miami Heat. So uh, they're just front runners. They're not, it's not to say that they are a, a potential team to sign uh, LaMarcus Aldridge. So uh, that's the idea so far uh, when it's all said and done for that particular uh, buyout uh, situation. And then you have other players like uh, Otter, Otter Porter Jr., I mean, he is potentially, um, well, I believe he got bought out. I, I believe he got bought out, I believe. So uh, his destination is still up in the air. Uh, some people are saying maybe the Lakers because the Lakers have that last roster spot. So that's another possibility to maybe the Lakers will look at. And then you have um, uh, a couple of players, uh, Avery Bradley. <laughs> Yeah, Avery Bradley is in the conversation and getting bought out. So uh, maybe he could potentially go back to the Lakers, but you never know. It still remains to be seen. They're saying maybe the uh, the Houston Rockets or just, I'm not sure. There's a lot of uh, scenarios of where Avery Bradley could potentially go. But uh, so far, uh, there's a lot of uh, players could potentially get bought out in these next couple of days. But it still remains to be seen where is the Lakers' mindset when it comes to uh, getting a potential uh, add add on to the roster, uh, you know Andre Drummond is still uh, an interest for the Lakers and a strong interest at that from Woj and uh, 
uh, Shams Tarania, Trevor Lane, Lakers Nation. And I mean, uh, all signs are potentially are showing that Andre Drummond could potentially join the Los Angeles Lakers uh, after the waiver moratorium. So uh, hopefully that um, uh, that we just have to wait and see what what would that happen for him. So. Um, but yeah, I mean, but when it comes to the rest of the other teams that made a lot of trades, uh, I have to say the Denver Nuggets, they made a huge splash uh, when it came to uh, this year's uh, trade deadline. I mean, there's there was just a lot of interest when it came down to uh, what the Nuggets wanted. Uh, they got uh, JaVale McGee from Cleveland from certain trades and then uh, that they put it together. And then uh, the Orlando Magic, which was a huge uh, headline for the like for the uh, Denver Nuggets, and that was uh, getting uh, Aaron Gordon. Uh, so uh, I wouldn't say that they just improved dramatically. They got, they improved in a big way. But you can honestly say that they improved defensively because you got uh, JaVale McGee, and you also got, uh, you know, um, uh, Aaron Gordon. So uh, the possibilities goes wonders for the Denver Nuggets to be a huge contender, uh, being, you know, boosted up when it's all said and done about the, their expectation going into the uh, the playoffs. So, uh, you know, they could potentially be a, a threat in the Western Conference. You know, still remains to be seen about that. So, uh, and you know, we ha- all heard about the uh, the LA Clippers uh, trading for Rajon Rondo for uh, Lou Williams. So <laughs> that scenario was a bit uh, surprising to me. I mean, the Clippers, and in my honest opinion, they really they lost a lot in this particular trade. I mean, they, they were not the winners, to be honest with you, because. You know, Lou Williams was a solid player off the bench for them. And uh, for them to trade for Rajon Rondo, who potentially, if they reach the playoffs, he could be a huge edge to them when it comes to, you know, playoff Rondo. But, you know, still remains to be seen. I mean, will he still have it? Still remains to be seen about that. And uh, and obviously, they needed a point guard. So it's not a surprise that they wanted to trade for uh, a potential point guard to be a starter for their for their lineup so but Rajon Rondo uh, for me it was just a surprising turn of events but at the end of the day still remains to be seen if he, uh, if somehow he will live up to the expectations for the LA Clippers uh, once uh, he's in the playoffs when it comes to playoff Rondo so um, so yeah I mean that's all I really have to say I mean there was not the, the main attraction was just the LA Clippers the um, uh, the Denver Nuggets and also the Miami Heat. They also traded for uh, Victor Oladipo, so uh, they they improved dramatically when it comes to uh, the starting lineup for them. I mean, Jimmy Butler alongside uh, Victor Oladipo will just uh, play huge wonders in the Eastern Conference. So, and you never know; they could be a threat to the uh, Brooklyn Nets. But you know, still remains to be seen about that. We still have to see how they play well together. So. And uh, the expectation is still there when it comes to LaMarcus Aldridge to the Miami Heat. So uh, they could potentially prove more and it could be a, a huge threat to the uh, Brooklyn Nets. But, you know, still remains to be seen about that. But uh, overall, when it comes all said and done, uh, the LA, the Los Angeles uh, Lakers, you know, they um, played it cool in the uh, trade deadline. Did not trade anybody, and that's just a good part on on their end. Uh, you know, they were just the idea of them trading for uh, Kyle Lowry for Dennis Schroeder, KCP, and uh, I believe uh, the Toronto Raptors also won a THT part of this particular trade. And uh, for me, it just felt that it was just a bit too much, in my opinion. And at the same time, you know, you're getting an aging Kyle Lowry. Sure, he's a champion, and he probably fits the timeline of LeBron James because you know LeBron James is like 36, and he's like he just turned today, 35 years old. Happy birthday to Kyle Lowry! But um, by the end of the day, you know we personally coming from my end, I think THT is a bright star in the making. Uh, he will, could be a solid 
sixth man, if you will. I mean, a guy who can give you 12 to 15 points in these next couple of years uh, in the NBA. I mean, if you can just imagine, he's 20 years old, and what we witnessed from him in the preseason and so far uh, since LeBron uh, being injured, which, by the way, he will be out for three to, I believe, three to six weeks, I believe. So, and Anthony Davis will be potentially back in the next two weeks, but still remains to be seen about that. But, uh, you know, the ability of THT for these next couple of years to improve will play huge wonders, and it can also build his stats, his his uh, his, uh, his asset, if you will. Uh, if somehow the Lakers want to do trade him down the line, you could potentially get him for anybody that's a high price, maybe an all-star, maybe, but, you know, it's just uh, still remains to be seen. I mean, and that's why I think the Lakers did a good job by just keeping THT, Dennis Schroeder, and uh, even though um, KCP was not my, um, I'm not really impressed with him this uh, this season, but, you know, when it comes to playoff time, maybe he will turn his, uh, his, uh, his career around when it comes to that. I mean, we witnessed that last uh, last playoffs. I mean, we saw a different KCP shooting those threes, being a huge, great uh, player on the defensive end. And, uh, you know, it just played a huge wonder to the Lakers' success winning that championship last year. So um, the idea of um, the Lakers still keeping him, sure, it plays uh, big when it comes to that, but at the same time, you know, I'd rather gotten maybe somebody a little bit better who can play, who can shoot better and stuff like that. But, you know, just other man's opinion. I just want to put that out there. And um, and I'm glad uh, Montrez Harold, you know, he, he did not get traded either. So I'm glad he's remaining with the Los Angeles Lakers. Uh, and because, uh, you know, he's been sensational, good help for the Los Angeles Lakers. And he has been stepping up for the Los Angeles Lakers since uh, Anthony Davis and LeBron James are being out. So, and uh, when it comes to today's game against the 76ers, uh, it's kind of hard to say who will win, uh, you know, but it still remains to be seen. Uh, maybe, I, I don't think the Lakers will potentially win this game, but you never know. They could surprise me. So, um, just looking forward to that. But uh, I really want to know, guys, your thoughts and your opinions, <clears throat> excuse me, about the uh, the Lakers and the uh, NBA trade uh, deadline results. Uh, do you think it was a good move by the Lakers for not making any moves and just waiting on the buyout market? Like I said, guys, it was just a smart move for the Lakers because, you know, they don't have a lot of assets. And plus, you know, they were just potentially going to get rid of potential players uh, who are a key piece to the to the Lakers uh, potentially going for another repeat. Uh, and... Uh, you know, going after somebody like a, uh, you know, a Kyle Lowry, and uh, there was another player of mine, but I forgot his name. But uh, you know, just some two, one or two players. It was just uh, not, not good for the Lakers. I mean, to be honest, because you know they just didn't have the asset, they just didn't have the resources to make a trade happen, and uh, it's just a smart move on their end. That's why they have two roster spots open, and the buyout market is there. So. Once these players uh, are off waivers, they will potentially, uh, you know, pick a team that's their next destination. And, you know, the Lakers are all over the rumor mill when it comes to these potential players. Uh, you know, Andre Drummond, uh, you know, LaMarcus Aldridge, Otter Porter Jr. I mean, there's a lot of players that are going to get bought out uh, after this uh, trade deadline that the Lakers could potentially consider. And, uh we just have to see who will the Lakers potentially pursue. Uh, I really want to know your thoughts about it, guys. I mean, there's a lot of scenarios uh, where the Lakers can go with this. Uh, you know, the number one priority is the center. So that's why I keep mentioning, uh, you know, LaMarcus. No, not LaMarcus. Uh, well, potentially maybe him if somehow uh, Andre Drummond doesn't work out. But, uh, you know, he's in the conversation. So, uh the Lakers have a lot of things to do uh, to improve the team in these next uh, couple of days. So we just have to look forward to that particular uh, uh, scenario after that. So, uh, guys, please comment down below. Like, subscribe to the channel. Make sure to like all my social media sites, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I'll leave the links to my social media sites in the description of this video. So you can check out my social media sites. And, of course, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Go Lakers! 
take it easy, guys. Stay safe out there.